In this question, we have a circular shaft which is made of 17 4PH stainless steel and it contains a half circular surface crack. We know that a cyclic bending moment is applied between 2 and 14 kN. Our goal is to estimate the number of cycles to grow the crack to failure. A suggestion in our book is to estimate yield crack length from the solution of figure A.16 part B with B is equal to the diameter. Let's first write what we know. From figure 8.17 part D, we know that the SB will be equal to 32M over pi d cube and for small a over b f will be equal to 0 0.728 also from table 11.2 for this type of steel The stress intensity factor will be 120 MPa square root meters. Sigma 0 will be 1059 MPa. M will be 2.44. Gamma will be 0 0.79. And finally, C0 will be 3.29 times 10 to the power of minus 11 meters per cycle over MPA squared meters to the power of M. We know that C is equal to CO over 1 minus R to the power of M times 1 minus gamma and when we compute, we will obtain 3.56 times 10 to the power of minus 11. Furthermore, when we look at figure A.16 part B, we see that yielding moment is equal to d square times d t times yield strength over 4 times 1 minus a over d square and when we make some arrangements we see that correct length is d times 1 minus 2 over d times the moment over t times the yield strength. We know the data for these terms, but we don't know the thickness. So to find t, we will use smax. We know that smax is equal to 32, the maximum moment over pi d cube and it is equal to 6 times again the maximum moment over d squared times t. So we can see that t is 6 over 32 times pi d and it is 3 over 16 pi d. So now we can calculate The correct length for yielding.
and we see that the yielding crack length is equal to 21.32 millimeters. So we can consider the case of fracture. Again, we know that S max is equal to 32, the maximum moment over pi d cube. And we will have 660.198 MPa. And we know that AC will be equal to 1 over pi times the critical stress intensity factor or F times S max square. So that the critical correct length will be 1 over pi times 120 MPa square root of meters over form factor which is 0 0.728 times the S max and square. And when we compute, we see that the critical crack length is 19.84 millimeters. When we compare the crack lengths for yielding and fracture, we see that the crack length for fracture is smaller than the yield crack length. So, we will use the critical crack length as the final crack length. We know that the number of cycles will be equal to And we know that delta S will be equal to 32 over pi d cube times the maximum moment minus the minimum moment. And it will be 565.88 MPa. Let's substitute the data And the number of cycles will be 38,897. And we can say that it is approximately 38,900 cycles.